Hey guys, what's up? It's Titan here and welcome back to the most requested video on my channel, which is Titan. Could you please show your mouse settings and graphic settings and well settings overall? So you know what? Here it is finally and just to explain the reason why I haven't actually made this video yet is because I still had to figure out things for myself. I didn't just wanted to make a video where I just talk about some settings that I'm not comfortable using. So as I go along explaining the settings, even myself, I might even, you know, change something here and there. We'll see how it's going to go. However, I can tell you guys with 100% certainty that I found the perfect settings for myself, but I will actually explain all the mouse settings that will get your aim way better or well at least better than it was before so i'm gonna try to actually keep this video um quite short and informative i don't know how well that's gonna go because there's a lot of settings to talk about but here we go on pc if you go to your settings the first thing that you see is the gameplay tab now this is probably the most important tab ever in the entire game and a lot of people have been asking me titan what's your sensitivity what's your dpi so here it is. My mouse DPI currently is 400. I was using 1300 DPI before with 12 in-game sensitivity, but that was way too fast. So just a self note here, if you're using a very high DPI and a very high sensitivity in the game, you will struggle tracking people on long distance. Now I'm not saying this will happen to everyone because you know, I know some people who have crazy insane sensitivities and they can still track very well. It's just for the majority of the people who are, you know, who want to get their aim better and who want to track people on longer distances, um, you should definitely use a lower DPI. So my current DPI is 400 with a 12 in-game sensitivity. Now, be, uh, below your mouse sensitivity, we have this option to show more. Vertical sensitivity multiplier. Basically, there is a short description of it. It's pretty straightforward. Just leave this to default, which is actually one if you don't want to mess up your, you know, like overall sensitivity. Now, here's what's really confusing for a lot of people. So I use my ADS mouse sensitivity. I use relative, not legacy. If you use legacy, your hip fire and your ADS um, mouse sensitivity will be very different and it will definitely throw you off. So I would highly, highly suggest you to use relative. Now, if you click on show more, here's the ADS horizontal sensitivity multiplier and the vertical one. Leave this place to default. Again, if you don't want to mess up your overall sensitivity. You don't want to mess with your horizontal or vertical sensitivity because what's the point really? You could just use legacy then and have the same effect. Now, here's a really fun and technical <laughs> option for your sensitivity, which is the monitor distance coefficient. Now, here's a short description. You guys can read it. You might not understand it. So I will explain what this means. Now, in previous Call of Duties, we did not have this setting and this is very 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 technical now what this setting actually does is basically depending on your resolution how your sensitivity will work so if you have for example a 16 by 9 monitor which you know could be i don't know all the way to 4k honestly but um I will just go with my resolution. So my resolution is 1920 by 1080. That is what I actually use right now. And I think the default here is 133. Um, yeah, the default is 133. So I use 177 and then I will tell you how to actually calculate your resolution or well, your monitor distance coefficient. So basically the way you calculate this is if you have the same monitor or the same resolution as I have, which is 1920 by 1080, you just take the 1920 and divide it with the 1080 and you get 1.77, almost 1.78. So you can use either of those numbers. Now, if you have a different resolution, maybe you, I don't know, maybe you have a 2K resolution, you take 2560 and divided by 1440 which is the 2k resolution and that will also give you a number so if you have a 4k monitor so on um, 
3,000, what is the 4K resolution? I don't even know right now. Um, I think it's 3,840 by 2160 or something like that. Um, and you take the first number divided by the second. So you take uh, 3,840 and divide it by 2,160 and you will also get a number. That should be your mon monitor uh, distance coefficient. Now, it sa says here the default is 133, which equals to 75% of a 16 by 9 monitor. You don't really want to have 75%. Honestly, you want to have this number at 100%. And that's where all that dividing actually comes in handy. So you divide your monitor's resolution and then you will get the, the actual perfect number uh, for your monitor distance coefficient, which will mean that you will actually have... I think it's the word is universal sensitivity everywhere. So basically, if you ADS, if you... You know... It will just feel more comfortable. However, if you literally want to put this at zero, I don't think you will notice a difference. This setting is for all those people who are insanely, insanely technical about, you know, this game. So uh, that's pretty much that. That's how you calculate it. If you have any questions, if I didn't, or if you didn't understand what I'm explaining here, just let me know in the comment section down below and I can also write it down for you. Now, the ADS sensitivity, transitional timing, just leave this to default. Um, let, let me just close this. And, uh, you know, all these settings are default. So also the invert vertical loop, just leave this to default. You don't want to, you know, drag your mouse up and look down. That's what inverted is. So mouse acceleration, mouse filtering, please leave this at zero unless if you want to actually have a lot of and a lot of bad and hard time in this game. Now, in the general one, the field of view that I use is 115. Some people use 120. I think I'm more comfortable with 115. That's what I use in BO3. So the ADS field of view is affected. This is set to default, I believe. I didn't change any of these settings. So this is uh, like below the field of view setting. Um, just leave this to normal uh, or well, default I meant. Um, and then the next one, automatic weapon switch, leave that to default. Sprint cancels reload. Now I have this off, you can turn it on. This is dependent on your play style. So basically what this means is that when you're sprinting or when you just press R to reload and as soon as you start sprinting, it might cancel your reload if you turn it on. If not, then you can keep sprinting and actually it, it, it could be really useful, but... Um, it also could mess up your gunfights because you can just literally YY, you know, just switch weapons twice. Um, the weapon switch delay, um, that's default. It's 100. I don't, I don't want to mess with these. And everything else that I will scroll down here, I'm just going to scroll down here. I will tell you guys everything is default here. This was basically the gameplay tab. And, uh, you know, the way to actually get used to your sensitivity in here. I'm just gonna give you guys some tips is to just literally practice a lot of people are asking me how to get a better aim I will definitely make a video about how to get a better aim how to perfect your tracking in this game Because I found the best way well I with the help of my friends Obviously I did find the best way to actually improve my aim my tracking and basically every gunfight that I go in right now I just I just seem to actually melt people and stay on target way more often than I did before. And what you guys also need to realize with um, all these mouse settings and, and Black Ops 4 overall is that this game is way harder than any Call of Duty that you played before. I also realized this, it takes way more time to get used to this game. You know, not for everyone, but for me it took me way longer than it did for BO3, so... Um, the only thing I can say is, um, you know, my, my DPI or my, my sensitivity might not work for you guys, which is, uh, you know, obviously the number one issue with me making a video on my settings. However, um, if you guys want to know, I'm using a Logitech G305, which is a wireless mouse with a hero sensor. It's a very, very good mouse. Um... And it's a very comfortable one because I have a small hand. And uh, tip number two before we go into my keybinds is to actually buy a mouse that's... So you don't... You shouldn't aim for a mouse that's very, very expensive. 
and think that it will make you better because the hard truth is it will not make you better hardware will never make you better and uh that's a lot of people don't agree with that but it's it's actually true there back in the days there was a lot of you know cs uh pro players playing with insanely bad mices and still wrecking everyone so um honestly it depends if you're a palm grip guy if you have bigger hands you need obviously a medium slash large mouse just to feel comfortable if you have smaller hands like i have the g305 it's a very very small and light mouse and it's very very comfortable so i'm not a palm grip guy i'm more of a claw guy um so uh, basically if if you're a claw guy, go for a smaller mouse because you can't really claw with a medium slash larger mouse. I mean, you can, but it's not really comfortable. So, uh, yeah, basically that's all I wanted to say. So for me, I, I have a claw grip, not a palm grip. Let's move on to my keybinds. Now, there's literally nothing to talk about here because everything is legit default for me. So, uh, you know, move forward, everything, uh, fire. Um, the only thing that I could talk about is the aim down sights setting, which is hold. I use hold. Yes, I know. A lot of people are using uh, toggle. I do not... I did not grow up playing FPS games with toggle aim. I always used to hold. It doesn't, doesn't really affect me. It doesn't throw me off at this point because I've gotten used to it. Um, but, like, both of these settings are completely fine, honestly. Some people struggle with the hold one, uh, which I use right now. And that's because if you hold, you have to, you know, concentrate on holding, um, you know, uh, right mouse click all the time and stay on target. Some people find that difficult, so that's why some people use toggle. Um, but I, I, I don't have any difficulty with that. So reload, everything the same. Next weapon. Now here's something that I wanted to change. So uh, usually I use Q um, for switching weapons and... Um, Right now, I'm not going to change this because uh, this mouse's scroll wheel that I use is very, very consistent. So I could switch for YY very consistently, which is something that's very rare. But still, I will switch uh, this setting out for Q. And instead of pressing Q to use my specialist, I will use one of my mouse buttons. But that's literally what I'm going to... What I'm gonna try to do later on. Equipment, E, X, everything. Okay, well, one of my uh, heal buttons instead of X is one of my mouse buttons as well, which is pretty helpful. So you don't have to, you know, press X all the time. So um, special ability Q, this is what I was talking about. I will switch this one um, out with my second mouse button and uh, use that, uh, use the uh, specialist with my mouse button and then switch weapons with Q. So um, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna still scroll down so you guys can check what's up here, but everything is li literally, literally default. <clears throat> so that's pretty much that. Now here's my graphic settings. Um, display mode, obviously full screen. I have two monitors. The first one is a BenQ 24 inch gaming monitor. Um, with 144 hertz so obviously use the highest hertz that you have available here um, my display resolution is 1920 by 1080 we discussed this in the gameplay section with the monitor distance coefficient I believe it's called so render resolution keep this at 100 the more you increase this um, it will feel like you're playing on 2k and all the way to the max on 4k up here it will show your VRAM usage I have a GTX 1080 Ti, so I could definitely play on 200 resolution or render resolution, but there's legit no point. So uh, just keep this at 100, especially especially if you have if you don't have great um, PC performance or if you don't have a great PC build. If you have a very bad PC build, you can lower this, and it will give you a very bad quality. But hey, at least the game will be playable for you. Um, aspect ratio, leave that to automatic. Vertical sync, please turn that off unless you want to have a very hard time again in this game. Um, we all know V-Sync is terrible in games. Well, not every game, but, um, you know, this will obviously cap your frames. Or if it doesn't cap, I'm not sure if it caps it in this game. Um, but it will definitely make your aim look, or well, not look, but feel very, very bad. Frame limit, I have this set unlimited. Now, um... You know, if you have, if you don't have a really good PC, or if you're struggling, or if you have stutters, 
put this to custom and put this to your monitor's refresh rate. So my monitor's refresh rate is 144. Up here, I could set that to this and the stutters might be actually gone. This doesn't work for everybody. I don't know why, but it might actually help you out. So, uh, uh, but I use unlimited uh, because of my PC specs, which I hopefully will put somewhere here. I don't know. I might put it up here uh, because I'm, I'm changing my CPU and motherboard right now. So, uh, you know, but even if I change my CPU, um, my settings will literally stay the same, so it doesn't really matter. Brightness, zero, computer, use this the same. As, as you can see, I have a 1080 Ti here. Um, CPU priority management, leave this to automatic, preload shaders on. Um, honestly, I use, every setting of mine is almost very high, and I would suggest every everybody either use medium, uh, w well, with almost the same PC setup as I have, I just recommend you use... Um, very high and the reason for that if you have a 1080 ti um if you put if you play anything lower than high um your gpu will literally just sleep while you're playing this game which means you will you might even get less fps as dumb as that sounds so um but if you get actually or well if you have like a low-end graphics card maybe a 980 or i don't even know 970 even or even lower than that then uh, use medium slash low settings because obviously that will give you the most FPS out of your rig. Um, everything is high here um, on the object view distance. I use this on medium. I don't like uh, the high one that, that uses a lot. Well, it actually can make your game stutter. That's what I realized. That's why I use this on medium. And then, you know, you have the shadows, which is a very, very tough, um, you know, setting on your game. So... Me personally, even though I have a 1080 Ti, shadows in every game are are eating up your performance. So basically, I use the shadow quality is, is on medium. I could even put it on low, honestly, but that looks a little bit ugly, so I don't like it. So uh, I use medium. Dynamic shadows, I have this off. I hate this setting in any single game. So that's just preferences. If you want to tur turn it on, um, you can turn it on, but it will greatly affect your performance. And again, it might bring up stutters in your game. So, um, special effect shadows. This is also related to shadows. I have everything switched off here. Global illumination quality. Now, I, I didn't personally find this setting like affect your game performance that much. So you can leave it at default or low. It depends on you. Uh, Anti-aliasing. I have this on very high. Ambient uh, occlusion quality. If you have a GTX... Uh, well, if you have anything below a 1080 or, well, even 1070, you should have this at, at medium or even at the lower ranges. Or you can even turn it off. It will definitely give you a better performance, um, even mouse-wise. But if you have a 1080 Ti, um, well, my experiences with this off and actually have it on very high were almost none. So uh, that's why I do. Uh, here's the motion blur. I don't use motion blur in this game, surprisingly. Uh, I'm personally a motion blur guy, but um, in this game, it's just it's just way different. When I turn, it looks it just literally distorts my whole screen. So uh, without motion blur, I can snap uh, way better to to actual people. And subsurface scattering, I have this on now. This setting literally eats up a lot of performance. So I do have it on. You can switch it off. You won't really notice any difference in graphics. And uh, it will give you slightly better performance. Order independent transparency. I have this at high again, just because I don't like my uh, 1080 Ti sleeping all the time. So um, you can set this at low, medium, but if you have a 1080 Ti um, or even above, you know, on the new RTX series, you can definitely leave this at high. But um, with the very high settings, what I'm trying to explain to you guys is that if you have a 1080 Ti, if you play anything on medium slash low, um, you're not really getting a better performance and that's that's pretty weird for a lot of people to understand because the 1080 Ti like um, my GPU is sitting at like 58 slash 60, 60 degrees even when I'm playing so it's not really struggling to run this game at very high and you know if you put all the settings to medium slash low with a 1080 Ti your GPU has nothing really to do so you might actually get um, less FPS pretty much, which is which is not that great. So I, I think that was it. I mean interface 
Okay, let me just do that. Um, interface, I have everything on default here. You can pause the video, audio, you know, everything on default. Um, I, I don't like to mess with audio settings and all that. Now, the, the audio preset, you can you can actually set this to either headphones or Super Crunch. With Super Crunch, you will hear, hear footsteps way better. I still yet to try this, but I might actually give it a go and see how it goes. Gamepad, we don't want to do that. So, basically, that is all. This was actually, I think this was a very, very long video. I'm really sorry that it took this long, but if you guys have any questions whatsoever, Please do let me know and with that said, I will be making a video on how to get your aim better, how to track better and how to stay, well, how to track and how to stay on target is almost the same thing, but um, I have very, very, very good tips for you guys in the future video that will come very soon and uh, in that video, I will actually explain what to do to improve your aim drastically and also that helped me a lot because I was also struggling in this game before with my aim. So these are my settings, again 400 dpi, 12 sensitivity in game, that's perfect for me. I can track on uh, close range, I can track on long range, I can probably do anything and uh, I stay on target almost, I don't know, I don't want to say a number but I, I can stay on target pretty, pretty damn consistently. So uh, with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you need any help or if you have any questions or if I forgot something, just ask in the comment section and I will answer your comments gladly. But with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped a little bit and uh, I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Peace out.